Not particularly expensive, very easy to fit, and doesn't get in the way. If anything, it makes it easy to hold. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm gonna be talking about a very small accessory, which I think is a very useful accessory for airbrushing. So this is just an expansion upon all the different uh, airbrushing videos we have so far. Now, this is the little accessory I'm talking about. So this is a small water and dust trap. It's very compact. So here in the clear section, this is the water trap section, so that when the water condensates, you'll be able to see droplets and then it'll settle down the bottom. And then in the very center there, you'll be able to see a bronze colored sintered filter that stops all the dust. And once this gets full of water, you just press this valve up and that'll release the water out. So simple little device like that. Now I'll show you where you use this particular device and how it's gonna help with your airbrushing. Okay, so here we have our regular little airbrush here. It's just a uh, gravity feed one, which we commonly use just for um, example. And then we have our hose. So usually, if you've got a compressor like this, tank compressors usually do come with a regulator, which already has a built-in water trap and air filter. So basically it looks like a big version of this. Now most of the time this will be fine. So what it's doing is it's collecting any water that's been uh, condensation in the tank and it'll deposit it here, pick up any dust that's traveling through and then all the air that comes out of here will be clean. So we would usually connect up our hose like this. All right, so you've got one end of the hose on your regulator, on the compressor, and then the other end you usually just connect straight up to your airbrush. Okay, that's a standard setup that you use and works quite well, normally. But occasionally you may find that if you use your airbrush and compressor for a long period of time, you may have this unusual pop of water that just comes out the tip. And when the water comes out of the tip, it actually gives a, a very poor and damaging result to whatever you're painting. Now that happens simply because with all your hose here, you have the water trapped coming straight out of, um, all the air coming straight out of your um, compressor. But as it's traveling through here, there's a chance here that the warm air, because it's being warmed by the compressor, is probably going to condensate within the hose. Now when you're doing this um, for small jobs, it probably won't notice it because by the time the water condensates, it probably doesn't have a big enough drop to actually come out the front. But if you do a long uh, session, so you're, you're in a very humid environment, uh, or it's just incredibly cold, like it is now, it's coming into winter for us, then this particular device is gonna be really handy. Okay, so if you can imagine, you've been using this for a few hours, the water will be trapped along here, it'll get into a, a little, um, a little, I guess, ball of water, and then eventually they'll travel all the way up here, mix with your paint, and come out the end. And it gives you this terrible splatter, and particularly if you're using non-water um, compatible paints, like uh, lacquers or uh, oil-based enamels, it's going to destroy the paintwork because it's going to separate from the actual paint. Now the simple thing is when you use these, it's really simple just to keep it on your airbrush setup uh, and use it all the time. And it gives you great peace of mind. So here we go. All you have to do is disconnect the hose from the airbrush itself. And that filter is just going to sit between them. So if we do this, all it does is a screw straight on the thread here where the hose would normally connect. Do it up finger tight so there's no leakages. And that's what it looks like when it's all mounted up. And so you'll notice that there's a bit of thread on the end here. And just connect it up to here. Yep. And again, you just do this up finger tight. So there it is, very simple addition. Just goes in between the airbrush and the hose. So here we have the bubble for catching any water that may come through that's condensated in the hose. And then there's the sintered bronze filter as well for catching any dust that may have come through. You have your little valve here for releasing the water afterwards. And 
being long like this, it also gives you the advantage of uh, an extended handle because when you use it, you can basically grip, grip the whole thing. And it somewhat feels a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so you just grip it like this, just use your airbrush like normal, like so. And there you go. So this particular little device, little small uh, final filter, uh, it's definitely recommended if you do a lot of work. Uh, I think, uh, such as Warwick, he uses the airbrush for a whole day at a time. This would be very handy for um, alleviating any moisture that may go through. And also if you just use it in very humid conditions or very cold conditions. Not particularly expensive, as you can see, very easy to fit and doesn't get in the way. If anything, it makes it easy to hold. So there you go, that's my little tutorial on the uh, inline uh, water and dust filter. Just mounts on the bottom of the airbrush and stops all the condensation coming out of the, uh, the hose.